Hey, what's up guys? Tim here. Got another tutorial for you today. And because it is just about mid-February, we are doing a Valentine's-themed paracord bracelet. This is the uh, Cupid's Belt. So, um, I think there are a few others out there that are kind of Valentine's-themed, or could be Valentine's-themed. Valentine's there is the uh, Solomon's Hearts, or Solomon's Heart, which you can check out. I um, believe there's a few tutorials on YouTube about that one, but I haven't seen one for this one. This is the Cupid's Belt, which is also a um, recommendation from a subscriber who commented on one of my videos, so thank you for that. Learn this from the Swiss Paracord blog website. I will link the picture tutorial I learned it from down below in case you want to check that out. And, uh, you know, as much as I don't really buy into the whole Valentine's Day stuff, I didn't want to leave you guys hanging without a uh, Valentine's-themed bracelet. Okay, so there it is. Looks pretty nice. Done it on the buckles, and that's a two-strand core. All right, so that being said, let's get into the tutorial. All right, guys, so I got my paracord set up. I've got my 5 8 inch buckles, and I have my two-strand core with the double cow hitch set up. And, of course, again, if you don't know how to do this, I have a specific video for that. I will link it uh, in this video. So to start out, we've got uh, our red, and I have about uh, six feet or so, but uh, I will annotate again the exact amount I end up using in the final measurement. So I've got six feet of the red, and I've got five feet of white. This is a 550 paracord, as we always use. So to start out, we're going to take the right strand. We're going to go underneath the uh, strand on the right, core strand on the right. Then we're going to go over, over this uh, left strand. And then we're going to take our left working strand. Move that there. Left working strand, we're going to go over top um, this strand here. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go under the left inner strand or core strand. And we're going to go over this one and we're going to go through this gap here. Through here. Like so. Like this. Okay. So they were both over under. But uh, we have this one, the strand going underneath the left working strand, and then the left working strand is going under, over, and then through this gap here. If you get confused, just kind of pause it right here, kind of like a pretzel. Alright, so that's the first knot. We're going to slowly cinch this up and tighten it. I like to push up here with my thumb, and then I'm going to pull the slack out. You can't pull, don't pull too hard because it will. Um, kind of deform the knot. All right. Okay, that seems pretty good. All right. So now we've got that first knot set up. We can move on to our white. So now with our white, we're going to double it over and work from the middle. We're going to put that behind our two working strands. And we're essentially going to tie the same knot. So again, um, I'm going to start with the right strand. So under, and then over, like that. Right, and then left working strand. We're gonna go over top this way here, and then under, and then over again, and through this loop here, like that. All right, so it is the same knot. Now, before you cinch this one down, we're gonna take our two red strands, and we're gonna put them through the middle. So we're going to go right strand first. We're going to go right through here, like that, through the middle of the core strands and through the center part of that white knot. So through there, like so. Just make sure that we twists. And then we're going to do the same for the strand on the left. We're going to go through the middle and over top, like that. Okay. Okay, so now before you tighten the red one, you'll have to tighten these white ones. I'm going to pull these up, like so. And again, don't um, tighten too hard. And then we're also going to tug on these red strands, see, like that, and cinch it up. And then we're going to cinch up the white one, like so. And there we go. So you can see that sort of semi, kind of like heart pattern forming. I'm going to cinch up everything really carefully. You don't want to go too tight. All right. And there we go. 
So that's one cycle, and basically we're going to continue that um, going forward. So going forward from here now, we've got you know both these anchored on. We're going to just do the same thing. So we'll go a little faster this time. So remember this was under and over, like so. And then you want to do this one. Remember this left strand goes over top, this one here. Under and over and through the loop like that. And now same thing, we're going to do, now the white strands this time go through the middle. And I'm always going to go right first and then left. So left goes through next. As you can see, having this on a jig makes it very easy. Okay. Again, make sure you have any twists. So before you tighten that up, you want to tighten the bottom ones. Push these up. Push these up. And then I'm, I'm going to pull that excess out of the white. Like so. Alright. So that's pretty much it. You guys can see it's just going to be repeated from there. Switching between the... Uh, the red and the white. And I'm going to push everything up like that. See? There we go. So we did um, the red and then now again we'll go with the, the white. So under, over, like that. Under, over, through the loop, and then red through the middle, right over left. And then red through the middle again. Like so. And then tighten these. And cinch everything out. Alright, so you can see where I'm going with this one. I'm going to continue tying my Cupid's belt going all the way down. And then when we get to the end there, uh, I'll show you how to finish it off, finished off. Okay, so there we go. I'm just going to continue going and I'll see you in the next part. All right, guys, so we come down to the end here and we're doing our last couple knots. This will get a little tricky. Feel free to use a fit if you need one. So we're going to go over, under, like that. So over here. Again, we're going to go, sorry, under, over is what I meant. Under, over. And this one through here. So we're just still doing the same knots. Just looks a little trickier because of our limited space. And then quartz through the middle. Right first. And then um, the left one after that. I'm actually just going to do this. So I'm going to use my fid. Push this through like so. There we go. Okay, and uh, actually, one little tip I forgot to mention was when you're doing the tightening, what you can do is actually pull all four cords at once, and that actually makes it so it do the knots don't deform. Okay, so there we go. That's our last knot, and this one's pretty easy. You can just snip and singe everything where it is. Um, just make sure you give everything a nice little pull. It should be okay. Um, yeah, because as you can see, it there is still some slack there, but I think once you make sure you pull it really tight, give all four cords a really nice lockdown, like so, then we can snip and singe everything here, and then we'll be done. All right, and there we have it, guys. I'm done. So as you can see here, I snipped and singed off the excess paracord and the two middle strands just kind of sit through in the middle there. Um, I kind of pushed them in so they don't uh, you know, touch the skin and the two white ones sit on the side there. So again, just make sure everything's pulled really nice and tight before you um, press them down and snip and singe. Okay, and uh, yeah, that's everything. This is the Cupid's Belt tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Uh, it's a little different than uh, what else is out there for kind of Valentine's themed paracord bracelets. So if you have any questions or comments, uh, please do leave them down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. 
And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next tutorial.